All right, g'day guys, and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be looking at how to add banners to your notes. Uh, we're going to have to use a plugin called Banners. Um, it's a very simple process, so let's jump in and have a look. All right, so in front of me, you can see I've got the Demo Vault 2 up, um, and I haven't got banners installed yet, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have to come down here to the bottom left, and we're going to have to go to Settings. We're going to open up Settings. We're going to come in here to the community plugins and we're going to be browsing. All right, up here we're going to type in banner. You can see banners comes up. This one's by Danny Hernandez. And we click install. Wait for the install to occur. Once the installs occur, we can come through and click enable. And of course, while you're waiting for this to happen, just come through and have a bit of a read about what this does. And what you can see here is that it offers a couple of different types. So there's a solid style banner, or there's a gradient style banner that sort of fades the bottom out. I quite like that one. All right, you can see banners can be in beds too. And there's some instructions here on how to do this. All right, I found this one to be quite simple though. So if we go back to our notes now, we create a new note. We'll call this new note with banner. Uh, we can go, this is my note, text, text, text. All right, but then we want to go ahead and we want to add in a banner. So what we can do is come down here to the command prompt. All right, and command palette is something you should pretty much get used to using because it is pretty useful. Um, it lets us really sort of uh, start to go through and um, sort of interact with some of these plugins and what they do. So let's press that. And if we type banner, all right, we can see here that we've got some different options come up. So add change banner from clipboard or add change banner with local image. So let's go through and try the local image first. Local image lets you pick from the images that are inside of your, your vault currently. So if we go ahead and select this one, for example, uh, we'll go back into the, the mode there and we can see now that we have a banner and we can see what that looks like. All right, let's go back into edit mode and jump over here though. We'll go down to banners and have a look at the settings. And what I want to do is basically change it to a gradient style. All right, there's a few different options in here. Uh, you can set the height, you can set the folders. So we could probably go 100. All right, let's have a look, see what that looks like. All right, so now we can shrink it. Now note that that didn't really do the, the gradient effect. I wonder if that needs to be reset. There we go. So gradient only affects once you've actually changed onto your page. All right, you can see that that gradient is affected now. So. Yeah, there we go, nice and simple. Now, there is a, another way that you can do this. So, what you can do is you can just go to YouTube and type in, you know, D&D &D banner and plenty of them come up. And we can just go in and copy an image. And then from there, we can go, uh, let's go into edit mode. I wonder if I've got this turned on. There is an option to enable typing of a forward slash that actually brings your command prompt up. Then you can just type banner. Then we're gonna go add change banner from clipboard. Didn't have a valid URL. All right, so it looks like we need to get one that's got a valid URL. What's a valid URL look like? So I think when they say valid URL, you have gotta have something that ends with an actual picture format. You will find some websites have some, um, some embedding options um, and they don't always look right. So if we just right click on this and go copy image, see how the end of that's actually not like a proper JPEG. I reckon if we get back to that where it says .jpeg at the end, we might be able to use that one. Let's try. So I'm gonna do forward slash banners, add change from clipboard. There we go, paste a new banner. And then we get our options. Now you can see there that I've probably got this one that's not high enough. Um, you'd have to probably play with your settings to, to get this right, obviously. 
250 was the default and if we set that it comes up and looks quite nice so yeah that's it guys that's that's pretty much all there is to banners it's very simple plugin um does exactly what it says on the box um and yeah it obviously makes your pages look great so give it a try let us know if you uh have any issues with it i guess and uh you know pay some screenshots and, and show us what you're doing with it we'd love to see some nice sexy uh, sort of note templates and see what people are sort of laying their their content out like but uh yeah if you are enjoying this content guys please do go ahead and like and uh subscribe to the uh content below uh, big thanks to my patrons um obviously merry christmas to everyone hope you're all enjoying your holiday season i know my house has been taken over by copious amounts of people and there is just children everywhere so always a lot of fun um but yeah apart from that guys we'll speak to you on the forums have a great day